Episode 3, Three Weeks at Tannum Sounds, Part 2. videoing you babe right so planning planning do you want right. to have a little point oh okay you want me to point right so where are we at the moment we are here Tannum Sands and we're going to be going from Tannum Sands when we leave here we're going to be popping up this way to Mackay aren't we going somewhere before that oh well, yeah we are going out to here Cape Palmerston which is Notch Point NP Notch okay. Point no National Park um, <clears throat> so we're going out there and then we're going to Mackay then we're going up this way and we're on a bit of a mission because we've got to get up to here for the night and then the next day we are into the, this Corunda we're up near Corunda but seeing it on the big map just kind of makes it you realise how massive it is compared to trying to do it on your phone or doing it on the iPad or the laptop. Got enough electronics, but I'll stop it. <laughs> You've got to say stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop saying stop it because I'll be filming you all the time. I'm, that's going to be my catchphrase. Oh, stop it. Right, there we go. All right, then you stop it now. I will stop it now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Spadides melanocephalus. Yeah, that's it. I'm well, that's a bit of a mouthful. Ashton. Mm. That's Ashton's <laughs> Ashton. You get to. She's a beautiful one. She is a beautiful snake. Hey. She's got beautiful black hair and she's mm -hmm. yellow and. Orange and she shed probably a week ago, I think. Oh, she's got new Not skin. even a week ago, yes, yeah, so she's hey. nice and shiny. So how would you hold her? Would you just like hold her lightly? Just support her weight, pretty much. Support so you don't. She's quite heavy. <laughs> uh, not really. So you just let her go through your arms, and then if you, because she's, she's really a ground, a ground dweller. She doesn't really climb in the wild. She will, but she's more of a ground. Dweller. Ooh, I can feel her muscles moving. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll get that. Well, it's bright in here. She's gorgeous. Yep. So. I handle her all the time, so I can go like, you know, right to the head. head. Yeah. She'll just nuzzle in. She's very fussy. Very fussy. Yeah, that's all right. Such a Thank you so much, by the way. Okay. I've Beautiful all, natured snake. Always wanted this experience. Take photo off. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm holding my tummy in. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't eat your tummy. <laughs> I'd like her to, actually. <laughs> right, where'd your head go? You need to hold her main body now, don't you? That's it? Yeah. I'll go to bed, Charlie, ready to come out. So depending on her genetics and how often she feeds, um, they'll get up to three meters. And you feed this one rat. She must have a really big belly then. And she yeah. probably spends how long digesting? Um, a couple of weeks. Yeah. In the in the colder months, um, she'll she'll take a while. She'll store it up. But it'll take like five minutes for her to eat the rat. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting really good at. She commands. Yeah, she's getting really good at uh, grabbing the rat by the head this time. Yeah. It's easier for her to... Head first. Yeah. I just woke up Charlie, yeah. so he's good. Oh, nice. But he was about to wake up anyway. Yeah. 
It's so strange to describe a snake as sweet, but she is actually like she's sweet. She just she's so good with the oh, kids. Get out! <laughs> what did he do? He jumped up into the camera shot. <laughs> yeah, photo bombed it. It's all about the snake. It's not about you. <laughs> and how, long, how big was she grow? Did you say? Yeah, she she could possibly get up to about three. Oh, meters. she came right out to the camera then. Yeah, three meters. Yeah, she'll be trying. Yeah, she'll she'll be trying to sniff it. Quite thick, and the females are generally bigger than the males, aren't they? Yep. In the black and she's white. female. So no, he's a, female. He's female. <laughs> <laughs> What's some other facts, Ashton? What about their black head? Or where they live? Where oh. they come from? The black head. They have a black head. Is that why? Why do you want to go behind me? Because oh, she's just she's just exploring. Just wants to have a look around. Mm. So the black head is um, acts as a solar panel, pretty much. So yeah, she can stick her just her head out of wherever she's hiding and absorb the sun. Oh, okay. So and do they all have black heads? No. This. this. Breed. Yes, that species does. Species, that's yep. the word I was looking for. That's what I meant, yeah. This yep. and um, their cousin, should we call it? Yeah. Has a yellow head and it's endangered. Ooh, <laughs> she was she, very interesting. She likes a little that. taste of the camera. Oh, she, oh she's performing. <laughs> I think I might just get my selfie stick just a bit more extended. <laughs> so because she was lively, she was easy to take out. If she wasn't lively at all, would you just kind of leave her in there? Or no, no. Still the, only, the only time you shouldn't really is when you've just been handling a rat. Right. Yep, so they'll smell you scent. and try and bite your fingers. Yep. And also um, when they're going into shit, so their eyes get really cloudy. That's okay. why they get a bit skittish. And she's quite smooth. Every now and again, you can feel a scale. Yep. But even when she's shedding, I'd still pick her up, and she 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 gives off like she'll hiss. Yes, she's sir. never ever looked like biting. So, such a. But is their bite? Yes. It's not lethal, but is their bite no. painful? Well, I don't know. She's never bitten me. But yeah. uh, I have been bitten by pythons and um, little ones. No. no. I've been bitten by a. They bleed a little. I've been bitten by a snake too. Yeah, you've been bitten by a spotted python. Yeah, oh, she wrapped herself around me. Look at that. How pretty is that? Yeah, she's a, she's Not so fun fact. So Charlie's These snakes pee and poo one. out of the same place. Yeah, Charlie's a good plumber. <laughs> so we'll put those back and we'll get Charlie out. Oh, it's like a little yeah. young Steve Irwin over here. Are you sure you doing a hold of babe? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm doing well just behind the camera. Very sure, sure, important cameraman duties. So this one is a obviously different yeah. different species. Yep, this is a Centralian carpet python. Uh, so this is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. He's nice and cold. Okay, so how do you want him up there? Yep, he'll he'll go. He's he's a pretty good climber, so he'll um. Want to move? Yeah, and if he if he feels like he's gonna fall, or he'll wrap. He'll. So when you say he's cold, is that good? Yeah, they they regulate. A bit more so. docile, or. Yeah. Hello, Charlie. Look at him. No. Look how beautiful he is. Here we go. Don't scare him. I know, I'm just trying to get. um, Because um, I'm new to YouTube, I'm, try I'm starting to make. um, What are they called again? Thumbnails. Thumbnails. Oh, yeah. Yep. So you've got to do all these sort of things. <laughs> yep. Well, Ashton probably knows about thumbnails. He's got a YouTube channel that he's trying to yeah. work out. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I checked, I had 21 subscribers. I must subscribe to your channel then. She's, she's not as moving yeah. as much as... Charlie's not moving as much as... Um, Daisy. Daisy yeah. Yeah, he's pretty, he's, he's strong, he's chill. So you can get his face. I oh, know. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got your face too. And he curls underneath himself? Yep, yeah, he'll just scuttle up and <sighs> chill out. He's not going you in for the strike. My holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I have always wanted to hold right, a snake. Right, so that means the next brown we see, we don't pick no, him no. up. No, no, no. <laughs> Definitely not. I'll be calling Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you sure you don't want to hold? Nope, I'm fine. <laughs> I think that's a pretty emphatic no. Yeah. <laughs> I stroked him. It's very cute. So how often do you take him out and hold him then? Uh, I try and get him out at least once every week, two weeks. Okay. Yeah. So this is like a once a week thing for him then? Yeah. Like I'll, I'll take him out and Daisy out onto the grass. So he oh, and then, to, yes. Yeah, they can go to the toilet. just saves me cleaning them in their cages. And will they naturally go to Lou out there? Yeah, because yeah, they stretch right out and they'll... Yep. Yeah. We've seen them do it uh, pretty much every time they go. Quite heavy. Yeah, he is, yeah. Um, Right. Do you want to eat a small yeah. child? <laughs> I don't think the child's that small. I think the child's quite big now. But well, they can munch on him for a while. I know, that would sustain him for a while. I mean, we might for it. Go across the front? Yeah. Oh. So, Charlie was a hand me down from my brother. We, didn't, we haven't had Charlie since he was a baby. Yeah. We've had him since last year. Oh, maybe That's a, year a year really before. weird feeling across the neck. Mm. <laughs> It's before Christmas. He's checking out the food in the kitchen. And he'll sometimes, like if he goes uh, around neck, you can feel him tense up a yeah. little bit, but he's just snuggling in on your, on your warmth. He's not trying to strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the muscles really tense up. Mm. It's, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. Is he trying to get the warmth or what? I think he's just exploring at the moment, just oh. seeing what's around. <laughs> I'm thinking, I wonder how tasty she is. <laughs> yeah, I'll quickly, see. I'll quickly strangle her first. <laughs> he's getting all the different smells because his tongue's going crazy. He's quite wrapped around my neck though. Yeah. Is that still okay? Yeah. No, he's not fully no, wrapped. No, he's not all the way around. No, no. He? He's not wrapped. <laughs> He's, he's, not, he's, not a, he's not a boa constrictor, though. <laughs> he's looped at the back. He's not okay. And will he stay s still for a while, or will he just... It depends. Like, if he's in a comfy spot, I've had him, uh, like, I've been laying out in the hammock or on the, on the lounge, and if I've got a jumper on, and it's a nice, cosy spot, he'll curl up and, and chill out for a little while, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a definite difference <laughs> sensation. So what I need to know is if you are bitten by a snake. Compression mm -hmm. <laughs> bandage. Yes. I always, they've got different ways of they, of compressing them. Haven't they? Do you com like if you're bitten here, mm -hmm. you do the bandage here and go down from the bike. From the bike up. up, and you go back down again. Yep. So from bike up. So as much as if you have the bandage, use the whole bandage and go from your bike up, and then back down. And if you got if you got more, go back up again. And can you use multiple bandages? Yep. Yeah. You don't want to do it too tight. Okay. You can get specialised um, snake bandages that have uh, rectangles on them. Okay. And when you stretch them, um, they go to a square. And that's how you know it's... Got the right strength, yeah. right elasticity. Right. Yep. So, and you usually, if you have it in your snake bite kit, which I do, um, you mark a pen and you mark the spot where you dip. Don't wash it because right. I'll need to swab it. Um, Mark where the bite is, then put your bandage on and then mark on the bandage. 